Hi. Um, so we are going to look at how we can um, work on the on the damaged uh, laptop battery. Okay. So um, under this battery uh, repair thing, we in the in the previous video we looked at um, how we can open the casing and uh, of course we recognize the battery that was faulty, and that is the battery which we needed to repair. Okay, so in this video, that this is more like the final part where we finish up everything and we are going to make sure to say, we are going to determine if it's going to work. Okay, so what happens is, what happens is here is that uh, if you observe, if you remember, if you watched the, the, the first video, if you did it, I will leave the link in the uh, uh, description below. The batteries that we, that uh, we are trying to repair are these, uh, okay, these three, like we removed one that was... Uh, that was uh, not working which was um, which was this one okay so um, along the way I managed to find another pair of batteries where uh, there was also one battery among them that was not working which are these okay so the battery that was not working among these was uh, was this one so it is it, it, it so happened that uh, for the two pairs these are the two uh, batteries that were damaged and I tried to repair this pair of batteries with a green one. Uh, it didn't work because the, the voltage was too low uh, compared to the rest of the batteries for this particular green battery because these need about, uh, uh, they need about uh, 3.75. Uh, this had like uh, 2.5 or something, so uh, it didn't work. But after I came across this, um, I managed to find to say these were above... Um, these were above 3.75, about some of them like 11.8, I mean, sorry, 4.8, some of them 4.11, yeah, something like that. So now the debate was, do I get a battery from these and give to this, or do I get a battery from these and give to that? So we can do it either ways. I'm going to get a battery from, from these and uh, put on the, and add to these pair of batteries on the paper ones here. That's paper, of course. Yeah. Then uh, we see how it's um, how it's going to work. So uh, let me just tune my 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 digital multimeter to 20 volts so that we see uh, how much uh, okay. how much voltage we have. Okay. So uh, if if you if you look at um, if you look at this one that we that we tried at first, which is which is, which is damaged, of course, it's still very low, still damaged anyway, still like 0 0.07. Then this one is among uh, this pair of batteries. These, so uh, that gi that is giving us something like uh, giving us something like 3.78, which is enough. Then. Uh, Picking from this pair of batteries, okay, this pair of batteries here, uh, we'll try to also measure the voltage. So this is uh, 4.14, 4.14 somewhere there. Uh, the second one, I'm getting 4.16. Then the last one, I'm getting 4.13. So what will happen is that I'm going to get this battery and I'm going to connect it to this. Okay, so that we try to see if it's going to work uh, on the laptop. Then after that, if it does work, I have my uh, soldering wire here and my soldering iron. I'm just going to somehow uh, put uh, like solder on both sides so that uh, this is going to uh, uh, like attach itself in, in such a way that it's, going to, it's not going to uh, disturb anything else. Of course, that would be after we determine that it, it has worked. I'll just somehow put it in such a way that we are, we are going to plug it on the uh, on the laptop so that we see if it's going to work. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I've managed to um, I've managed to put uh, like to con to temporarily connect um, this battery to these uh, uh, series of batteries here. Then, uh, if we measure the uh, we measure the voltage uh, voltage across each of them like all of them yeah after we, I have connected so we are getting something like 16.20 something like that 16.021 mm, that's 16.21 actually 
yeah that's what we're getting and i believe that is enough for me to uh to power uh my laptop so what i would do is that before i i i i apply a bit of uh, uh soldering here and this point i want to try it if it's going to work on my laptop without my laptop being plugged into a power source okay so let's try that out Okay, uh, so I've managed to uh, to plug it in like to the laptop without me having to uh, like put them in, put it in a casing because I don't want to end up putting it in a casing then in a casing then afterwards I find out that it's not working. Okay, that would be kind of like uh, it will bring us back to square one again. So it's better before I put everything together, I try to find out that it's really it's really working. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, as you can see my laptop is not uh, connected to any power source okay uh, where is the charging port actually okay we charge from this point okay so let me just try to to turn it so that we see if it's working or not uh, so as you can see it's still uh, plugged in okay so just going to try to see if it's going to work so when I try to um, when I try to switch on, uh, we can see that nothing nothing is happening. It's not working. So, but if I try to let me try to measure the voltage uh, like across each of them, see what we are, what we are getting. So I measure from this terminal uh, to this one here. It's showing me uh, sixteen point one five. So what I believe is that this is just okay. Okay. Everything is just okay. It just needs more like uh, a jump start or something. So here is my power cable. I'm going to plug it in. Okay. Okay. I'm going to plug in like that. It's charging. So um, I'll try to give it. Uh, is it a minute? A few minutes or something? Or maybe I can try it the way it is. Um, I see if it's going to. Okay. Of course, it's going to power on. Okay. It's on as we can see. So what I would do is that uh, let me try to disconnect so that we see if uh, it's going to remain on. Okay. So as you can see, that is on. <coughs> so someone might say it's because it's plugged in. You're right, but let's see if it's going to be on after we remove uh, the power cable. So the power cable is out, but as you can see, it is still on. So that means we have fixed our battery yeah and of course as i said you can easily buy uh these batteries and it's a good idea yeah but uh for me i prefer to try to work on something before i actually uh replace it so as, as you can see there is still like it's on it's not plugged in anywhere okay so i guess i'll just give it some time to charge then i see um how the performance is going to be so uh Actually, that's that's how we go about it. Um, usually, as I said in the in the first video, when the the battery and the laptop battery is not working, it might be it might be because just one cell or um, one cell or two cells are not working. You can't have all the cells not working. It can just be one cell or uh, one cell or two cells that will not be working. So. We have managed to repair this one and um, it's been interesting making, making this video myself. Yeah, thank you very much for watching.